Class 1A. Class 1A. Man, just how big is this school anyways? Ah, I can't believe I'm going to be late on the first day. I feel like I've been running for hours. What? Uh. Hey, look uh. out! Uh. Oh, my head. Just my luck. Are you all right, young man? Uh, yeah, thanks. And, uh, sorry about that. It's all right. Just pay more attention next time, okay? Oh, you work here, right? Do you know where I can find Class 1A? 1A, huh? You're almost there, actually. Take the next left and it'll be at the end of the hall. Thanks, Mr. Skeleton Man. I owe you one. Happy to help. Mr. Skeleton Man? <laughs> Why are school supplies so heavy? If only I had more time in my hero form, then I could carry these with ease. <clears throat> Do you need help, sir? Thank you for your help, young man. It was no trouble, sir. Allow me to repay your kindness with some water when we get to my office. Thank you for your offer, but there's no need. It's a hero's job to help others without seeking compensation. Ah, an admirable way of thinking. However, I must insist, even if it's just to put my mind at ease. If you insist. Thank you. No, thank you, young man. And feel free to take as much time as you need. I'll write a note for you to give to your teacher explaining the situation. Thank you again, sir. Hey guys, I'm the Scissor Hero! Oh no! Scissors beats tape! But Rock beats Scissors! Jeez! It's those guys' fault that I'm sewing my uniform back up in the first place! They should know better than to mess around with Scissors in class! Someone could have been hurt! Is everything alright, young lady? Ah! <gasps> uh, you're bleeding! Ah, uh, it's nothing, really! Here. There. All better. Oh my god, this is too cute! If it's not too much trouble, <laughs> may I ask what you are doing? Oh, um, my skirt got a bit torn up so I'm sewing it back together. But I'm not at all that good at it. Why don't you just get another skirt from home? Or just buy a new one? Well, it's not that bad of a tear and I figured it'd be a waste to get rid of an otherwise perfect skirt. That's the only one I own and I can't afford a new one. May I see? Huh? Here. I admit that my skills are a bit rusty, and I'm nowhere near as good as my teacher was. But I'd rather book myself than have you hurt your hand again. There. It's not perfect, but it should hold. Not perfect? You can barely tell it was torn in the first place! Thank you! <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Villains are attacking the USJ! Please help! Huh? What? I detend you from Class 1A, correct? What's the situation? <sighs> a horde of villains appeared through a portal. Aizawa is fighting the main group by himself. Thirteen is gravely injured, and half the class has been scattered throughout the facility! Yegi, go inform as many staff members as you can. We're gonna need as much help as we can get. Yes, sir. There is no time to lose. How dare someone harm my students? My students. Did I do the right thing? I... Young man, are you alright? Are you hurt anywhere? Do you need to see Recovery Girl? Yes. No? I don't... I'm fine, but my friends... They're still back there, and I just left them! Are they doing okay? Did any of them get hurt? And Thirteen and Aizawa... They... I failed as their class president! You're wrong! 
If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have known something was wrong until it was too late. Now we've turned the odds in our favor. So let's show these villains why they shouldn't have messed with UA. Yeah. Thank you. That's just what I needed. Let's go save my classmates! Aw, yeah! Time for a super special awesome sports festival training routine! Heck yeah! Take me! This girl is empty! Okay, let's do this thing! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh crap, we killed someone! We need recovery, girl! We're, We're so, so sorry. sorry! You should be. Honest. You kids are too reckless. Yes, ma'am. Ch Chio, it was only an accident. That's no excuse! Anyways, why don't we put this matter behind us? After all, I'm partially to blame as well. Toshinori, you are not helping! Wait, what? But... sir... Uh-uh, no buts! Huh? We were both in the wrong, so why don't we both agree to be more aware of our surroundings and call it a day? Why don't you two take a break? Maybe get lunch? After all, you've been here for quite some time now. We'll take you up on that offer, sir. Thank you. Yeah, and we promise that this won't happen again. Now that he mentions it, I am starving! Let's see if we can meet up with Kirishima and Kaminari! They certainly are a lively bunch, aren't they? You have your work cut out for you, Toshinori. Yeah. Hey guys, Trina here. Dadmite is sponsored by the wonderful Gaumon drawing tablets. This is the Gaumon PD 1560, an on-screen tablet that you can directly draw your art and animations on. Just plug it directly into your computer and you're ready to draw. It features a 15.6 inch work area and a 8192 rechargeable pressure pen. Draw your art in HD on an IPS 1920x1080p full screen. This can work with your favorite art program like Clip Studio, Photoshop, Fire Alpaca, Paint Tool Sci, and many, many more. Check out the drawn screen Gaumon tablets that are on sale in the description box below. All Gaumon pen tablets currently have a buy a tablet, get free accessories promotion on Amazon. Thank you so much! Now let's get on to the video! Now you're going to take your own advice and eat for a change! Go down to the cafeteria and get some food or I will force you to spend the week here and spoon feed you myself! I should really stop making Chio mad. Oh, who am I kidding? That's impossible. I swear, if it's not a villain or my injury that does me in, it'd be her. Pardon my intrusion. Ah, Yagi. Recovery girl told me you'd be stopping by. Where have a seat? I just need to finish the last course and I'll be right with you. If you're busy, I can always come back another time. I wouldn't want to interrupt your work. Don't worry about it, Yagi. The lunch rush? No pun intended. It's almost over, so it's no problem. I can't throw my back on someone who's hungry, after all. Here, for you. Oh. Thank you, young man. Are you Lunch Rush's apprentice by any chance? No, but I'm honored that you think that. 
My name is Sato Rikido. I'm in the hero course. And I'm Yaya Rozu. Momo, his classmate. Since both of our quirks benefit from food, Lunch Rush was gracious enough to let us use his kitchen to train for the sports festival. Come now. If anything, I should be thanking you too. I hardly ever get any visitors. This is a dream come true. Besides, Sato's bacon is some of the best I've ever seen. Thank you, Lunch Rush, sir. It really means a lot to me. You're more than welcome to come by anytime you wish. Now why don't we take a break? I prepared enough food for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so did I ever tell you about this one time? <laughs> I don't know what's worse, filing paperwork back at the agency or grading papers. I'm worried that young Kaminari is overusing his quirk. Hmm? Oh my goodness! What on earth are you doing here, little one? Did you get lost? In any case, why don't we find Nezu? He may be able to help you find your way home. Oh my god, you are too cute. <laughs> Is this bunny yours? That's good. I'm glad we got her back to safety. You're welcome. Man, those UA kids are intense! Heck yeah, they are! And those 1A kids, they're on a whole nother level! 1A? That Kaminari fellow sure has a lot of power. Too bad he got his butt kicked by the Vine Lady. Then the nice lady made rocks fall from the sky! It was so cool, Mama! And that plain-looking guy, Midoriya? He took on that glacier like it was nothing! But then Todoroki! Holy cow, was that awesome! Too bad we couldn't see him use his fire in the finals. I think that Bakugo fellow has more than enough firepower to make up for that, though. And then the battle between the rock and steel dude? <laughs> Hilarious! They were basically the same person! Tsuhima was the name of one of them, right? I forget. I guess I still have ways to go before I can stand alongside my classmates. You're... Kirishima, right? You were in this year's sports festival. I just wanted to let you know that you were amazing out there. I apologize if I disturb you or anything. I understand if you just wanted some peace and quiet. It's okay, sir. I'd probably do the same if our roles were switched. Besides, it makes me happy that someone noticed me despite my boring quirk. You know, having a boring quirk doesn't make you any less of a hero. Huh? It's true that having a flashy quirk makes it easier for a hero to stand out in the eyes of the public, but appearance isn't everything. Take the hero Crimson Riot or Sir Nighteye, for example. Both have relatively dull quirks in comparison to, say, Endeavor but that doesn't stop them from being the heroes they are today. A true hero uses their power to help others without asking for anything in return, and your quirk is a perfect fit for that line of work. Your boring quirk can stop mighty blows, protect victims and comrades alike, provide a sense of security. The possibilities are endless. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you one day became unbreakable. Well, this is my stop. It was a pleasure to meet you, young man. Same here, man. Unbreakable. That has a nice ring to it. Okay. Uh, 
Is something wrong? Uh, oh, I was talking out loud, wasn't I? I shouldn't really be doing that in the hospital. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. I'll try to be quieter. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just curious is all. Your cheek? You, you didn't get hit by those monsters in Hosu, did you? No. Just some shrapnel I couldn't avoid this time. That's a relief. I don't think my heart could take knowing another young man was hurt by those monsters. It's bad enough I couldn't do anything to help. Another? My student. He was on the way to Shibuya with my mentor when those monsters attacked. Thankfully, they both managed to come back alive, but not without some pretty nasty injuries. Or at least, that's what I've been told. When I got the call from the hospital, I just about collapsed. My boy, the child I'm supposed to protect, got hurt and I was powerless to stop it. Now all I can do is sit here and wait. I hope things turn out okay. Mr. Yagi Toshinori? Y yes that's me! I'm Dr. Wolfendine. It's nice to meet you. I'm the one in charge of overseeing Midori Izuku's treatment. Oh? How is he? His injuries were pretty bad. Several lacerations on his arms and legs, but he's expected to make a full recovery. Midoriya? Please, take me to him. Right this way. Something's not adding up. This is nice. I feel the same. It wasn't me, it was Shinso's idea. Really? Thanks, Shinso! You're welcome, I guess. Still don't know why you two want to hang out with me, by the way. Because we want to be your friends, silly! Friends, huh? Even you? It's a work in progress. <laughs> welcome to the Queen of Tarts Bakery. What can I get started for you today? Oi, Diana, at least act like you're happy. We want them to spend money. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'm not here for the food. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> listen up! Do exactly as we say, and no one gets hurt! Capiche? <gasps> <gasps> Fuck my life. <laughs> 